What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Jason Lee is banning Carlissa for acting like an animal from Hollywood Unlocked events. Let's for get- a couple hiccups of Wait people who came and decided... There were a couple okay. hiccups of people who came and decided to behave however they chose to behave. Y'all saw Claudia Jordan back there in the back of the line behind me where she belonged. Like a little groupie trying to still get in. She back there. She back there somewhere. Where's she at? Oh, they let her in. I do want to make an announcement here that Carlissa Southfold is now on that list of individuals who's no longer eligible to be at any Hollywood Unlocked event because she showed up and tried to fight Claudia Jordan. Now, this is not that type of situation. I don't care what network you're on or what type of culture you're a part of, what your house look like or what your upbringing is. If you act like an animal, I'm going to keep you in a cage outside of my event. Dang. So when you come to our events, we expect you to bring the level of class and sophistication as you are Uh, as you see when you walk in the building. This is one of which where this year we honored a lot of amazing people. And I opened it up to people. I think Zeus has everybody confused. People to participate by coming. But when you come into our house, you have to know how to act or you will not be allowed back in. And I only dropped her name because she's the one at the forefront of my mind because I kept getting text messages about Carlissa, 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 when she wasn't even at the top of the list of invitees. Hey. Uh, but after making it through the metal detectors and all that, she still became an issue. And, you know, again, it's not just the Carlissas. There's at least seven people that didn't even have huge incidents. It's just that your name was brought up in things that it shouldn't have been and doing things at the event that I thought was just too much. And so now you- y'all know Jason Leo Leo, too. If I ain't mistaken, so Whew. you are a on a cannot come back ever list. And there's no real way of trying to fix that, right? It's just that if once you show me who you are, Oprah said to believe you. So blame Oprah. <laughs> Don't blame oh, me. There were a couple hiccups. Well, <clears throat> y'all heard what he said. Stop acting real animal like and you won't get treated like one. Okay. Now, y'all know Jason Lee don't play. However, I do want to say, like, when y'all talk about these people, like, when you not only talk about them, when you um, interview them and stuff, like, I, it's, it's, it's really contradictive because that's what they do. Now, I wouldn't have expected Carlissa to fight, um, to fight her, though, like. I, Car- Carlissa's messy, but I just wouldn't expect her to go in there and fight anybody uh honestly and that's what she decided to do so that's what we got and uh (laughs) that's just kind of that on that one um let's read some of these comments uh jason said what he said okay hold on jason said what he said and let it be known last year krishan was one at the top of the invite list and even performed she knew how to act (laughs) Uh, this is the same behavior she tries to degrade Krishan for. The difference is at 50 years old, you should have you have you should have some decorum and class. She's acting as if she's on the cast of the baddies. Facts. Thank you, Jason. She has totally gotten beside herself, embarrassing and too old to carry on as she does. I completely agree. Um, while she was the only one he name dropped that got banned. <laughs> That's insane. And Carl acts like Carl, I guess Carlissa acts like she's so smart and knowledgeable about how to get to the top, telling Callie how to present herself on baddies and what not to do. LOL. This lady can't even spark up her own entertainment career. Um, it's about time someone does something about her behavior, ban and cancel until she learns that everybody ain't gonna stoop below to her behaviors. Yes, finally, let's cancel her next. Burn another bridge to other opportunities, work relationships. Good. She should have never been there. Well, <laughs> y'all heard what he said. She can't come back, baby. She cannot come back. Um, Let me see what else I want to add to this video. It's been so much going on. Uh, First of all, I don't know if y'all know about Ryan Garcia, but Ryan Garcia 
done said, I don't know, he acting like he's against black people or something. He, he tripping. He is truly tripping. Um, I think I'm going to find a TikTok, so we're going to finish this later. All right, y'all, so we're going to get into this Casanat situation. Now, everybody, look to, everybody looks forward to A&P blowing up their house, okay, during um, 4th of July. I think it's the dumbest thing that they could ever do, but they like to do it. I think this year they learned a lesson, though. You don't, you don't blow up your house. You don't, you don't blow up where you live, right? So, because why would you, why would you do that? <laughs> okay, they got black marks all over the ceilings. Everything just wrong with the walls. And um, this situation right here, Mr. Beast actually was doing a prank on Casanat supporters. They made his um, set look like a double, basically, like his room, and blew up on stream. I'm not. What's up? What's up? I'm not. What's up? What's up? I'm not fucking. Ah, I'm not doing that in my room. What am I fucking doing? What the fuck? Yo, that's a line four. Hey, watch out. Watch out. That's a line four, bitch ass nigga. Bro, stop. Now, when Kyle was letting him do it, I was like, hey, yo, why Kyle not like really muzzling this nigga? But David is kind of big. I've seen that nigga in person. That boy is big. Boy, it won't be no crib. All my life, there wouldn't be a crib. All my life, there would not be a crib. So I want y'all to see how Kyle run up out of there. <laughs> All right, what about my mother? I swear to God, y'all gonna hate me, bro. Watch this. So the way both of them ran up out of there, I felt like it was fake anyway. But I didn't think that they did a fake setup and all that. I just, I don't know what I was thinking, but the way Kyle ran up out of there, it's like he knew something. But anyway, blew up the whole thing. Mind you, they had a whole setup in there. His chair was new. Oh my God, that would have gave it away. I didn't see that. So apparently... He also came out and said that he could have got banned for that. Oh, he was about to get banned for that. Um, but Mr. Beast ended up coming out saying that it was Cap. <sighs> Kai, in exactly 20 minutes, we're going live on your channel. Yes. But we're in the middle of a field. Yes. We have replicated my room and we're going to blow it up in front of and hundreds you, of thousands of people. And if you don't believe us, come over here. So this little tunnel over here. Yep. Leads into a scale replica of Kai's room. That's, That's his funny. streaming setup over there. No joke. We recreated his room in a field. Yep. So he That's crazy. It looks exactly like his room. Could have a firework war and just start launching stuff. And when it inevitably burns down, it'll prank you guys. Yeah. Make sure you guys stay tuned. And if, gotcha. and if this ends up backfiring and being a really bad prank, Kai assumes all responsibility. Huh? <sighs> Yeah, you know they don't care about the equipment, y'all. They're rich. Filthy. Filthy rich. I want to go back and look at this chair, though. I need to see the chair. Hold on. I need to see the chair. Damn. Hold on, where is it? I done lost it. I'm going to have to look another time. But listen, I just wanted y'all to know that um, it was fake. Uh, if I could find a video of Kai speaking about it, I seen it earlier. I feel like I saved it because I wanted to talk about that. Kai, I did not save it. That's crazy. Well, if I could find it, I'm going uh, to put it in this video. But basically, Kai said he was about to get banned, so... They probably won't ever do nothing like this again. 
But let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Um, appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.